Hello, Taurus. My name is Agatha, uh, and this these are the predictions for November November 2018. My email is duniazad at gmail.com. So we're going to start with the astrology prediction for November 2018. On the 7th of November, there's a new moon at 15 degrees of Scorpio. In your case, Taurus, this new moon is going to happen in your 7th house. For some of you, it's a brand new love, you know. And this person uh, with whom you start a new uh, romantic relationship might come from your circle of friends. If it's not that, your circle of friends, like a friend, might introduce you with this person. And this person might be a foreigner. Now, this person either is a foreigner or a lawyer, you know, or uh, he or she uh, is... Uh, you know, is a teacher at university, or maybe you uh, uh, know him or her while you are in university, maybe you're studying in uh, university, and this is where you meet him or her. Uh, what else? What else? Like I said, he or she could be a foreigner. He or she might also be involved in anything connected with the esoterical realm, you know. He or she might also be a very traditional person, a very religious person also okay um, what else if you already are with someone uh, then you're going on to the next level of your relationship which would be formal marriage some of you are like formally marrying others if it's not that maybe you like uh, decide to have a kid together um, what else this could, al could also be you know the, the seventh house is the house of for instance uh, partners, but could be uh, business partners. Maybe you decide to open up a business with a friend of yours. Maybe something that you've always wanted to do and you have like a, a, con a website and you sell products products even abroad to other people and you, you have this partnership with one of your friends. You know, it could be that. Or one of your friends helps you while you have this partnership with someone else uh, whom uh, he or she gives you some sort of even emotional support or other type of support at least your friends support your dreams and wishes and while you open up this new business with let's say a colleague that you met at university um, what else or even someone you might even work with someone abroad or you know Who's, uh, who lives abroad, who lives in another country. What else? This could also be, you know, because the, the, the seventh house is the house of open enemies. So you might have having issues with someone who defines himself or herself as an open enemy in this person. You either like forced to put this person, uh, you know, open up a court case, go to court because of this person. This person uh, takes you to court, you know. Uh, I really hope that's not the case, but it could be that whatever, whatever is happening in your uh, right now in your life, uh, there's some sort of issues connected with uh, with your job, with your career. There's there might be a boss who's who's not really nice, and you might have in conflicts with your boss. If it's not that, the seventh house is the house, con like I said, connected with your partner. So maybe you have uh, uh, your partner. Uh, or spouse is there's like a brand new change in his or her life like he or she gets a new job he or she gets promoted you know something like that uh, another way of reading this this could be a contract you're signing up a contract okay you're signing up a contract it is could be let's say you are uh, you are you work in a, a company that actually is a foreign company. So you're signing up a contract contract to work in a foreign com company, but you don't have to move abroad. Some of you are actually moving in order for you to work in this company, but not necessarily. Others is that, may, let's say that you do freelance work, Taurus, okay? So you're signing up a contract to do work for uh, as a freelancer for a company. Let's say that you are a designer. A designer and you uh, are an illustrator you illustrate okay is very good illustrated and people from all over the world want to work with you so uh, so maybe let's say that you are based in the US and like a company from France looked at your um, work at your portfolio 
taught us and really liked what they saw. And so you're signing up a contract for this company, for this magazine, for this newspaper to work for them, uh, for, you know, to work on this particular project. It could be that. Um, seventh house is also the house of, what else? Mm, just another thing. Uh, the second child, the, the, the one who is born, uh, you know, in, in the second place. It doesn't mean it's a boy or girl. It's the one who was born. It's number two. It's your number two child. <laughs> so uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. It doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl. So there's a brand new beginning in his life or her life. And maybe he or she is following his dreams or her dreams. And maybe uh, what your second child always wanted to do was to I don't know worked abroad, uh, uh, go to school abroad. Uh, you know something like that. And then, Taurus, 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 Taurus. Then the full moon happens on the 23rd of November at zero degrees of Gemini. Now, this full moon is going to be in a square uh, with Mars uh, in, at four degrees of Pisces in your 11th house. And it's going to be opposing Jupiter in the 8th house in Sagittarius. Um, also, there's a square between Mercury and Neptune, from, um, Mercury in Sagittarius in the, the 8th house and uh, Neptune in Pisces in the 11th house. So, you might get news, uh, not news, I'm sorry, You there's some sort of ending for some of you, quote unquote, connected with your salary, connected with the money that you earn. So maybe you're like signing up a new contract. Maybe you you are in the same company. No, if you like leaving where you worked and you're moving on to a different company, it makes sense that around the 23rd of November, you get the last um, uh, salary connected with your former company because you're going to move up to a new, uh, a new place. So whatever you get in terms of money, it's not going to make you happy because you thought that you're going to uh, get uh, like a certain amount and you're not getting that certain amount if it's not that if there's like some sort of change in the company where you work that uh, means that you have to sign up a new contract even though you don't leave uh, the company where you work uh, I'm thinking that maybe some commissions are uh, being taken away from you because there are changes in your salary there's less benefits that you get from your um, from your uh, career, from your job, and you're not happy with this. You're kind of quite angry because you had certain ambitions, and you feel I would say that you feel that you're being that you were being lied to, that you were being told that you're gonna get a certain money, and then you're not getting that money that you were told. I feel that you you feel that you've been lied to in terms of the money that you're going to, going to get. Uh, so you're not happy connected with the money that you're going to get. Let's say that it's not that, that you had several sources of, of income, you know, and one of those sources of income is either going away or is being diminished. Okay, is being diminished. So there's many uh, different ways of uh, reading. I'm thinking like sales, something connected with sales. Now, Taurus, we are going to go to the next part uh, of the reading, the next part of the reading, in which I'm going to use the Chronicles of Destiny Fortune cards. And uh, so this is not tar Tarot, this is another divination system, and this is going to be the theme, and then below the theme, there's the, sto the story connected with the theme, okay? So the theme, 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 the subject, is represented by the elder. So there might be someone uh, old within your midst, within your envir environment, who's acting like a guide, a guide to you, who's giving you guidance. Someone who is wise and mature, and he or she is giving you guidance around November 2018, uh, giving, giving you sound advice. If this is not another person, this is the way you approached things. So how are you going to approach the month of November 2018, Taurus? Uh, and you're going to approach it with maturity and wisdom. Uh, and then 
like the first card by the way for some of you the, the astrology reading might make more sense while for others uh, this divination uh, uh, reading might make more sense now what is the story connected with the elder you have the heroine so if you're a woman it's you showing up it tells me that you are the heroine uh, goddess of your own story you decide the, the rest of the cards tell me this, this, the same. You take action to be the heroine of your own story during November 2018. It's like you're tired of waiting and you just go for it. Now, you might have the sound advice of someone elder in your midst, midst who gives you good, uh, good advice, good guidance. Now, this person who's elder would be, um, you know, it could be someone in your family. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking... Not necessarily. It could be also a boss, uh, you know, uh, someone, you know, when I say someone in your family, it could be mother, father, grandmother, grandfather, but I'm getting Saturn, you know, Saturn, uh, and Saturn right now, Taurus, is in your ninth house, so this elder person, elderly person, or person with wisdom and maturity who gives you advice, could be a lawyer, it could even be a lawyer. Okay, or it's not, if it's not a lawyer, the ninth house is also the house connected with the father, in, um, the in-laws, the brother-in-law, and the sister-in-law. So it could be your sister-in-law, your brother-in-law, someone who's uh, elder, uh, or the ninth house is also a spiritual guru. Could be a priest, you know, could be uh, someone spiritually inclined or connected with. Uh, Either the church, connected with religion somehow, could be, you know, a priest, could be a iman, could be a, how do you say, some, a rabbi, you know. Oh, it's you. You are the hero of your own story and you take a mature and wise approach. And the next card is the Book of Destiny. You make your own destiny because you're the heroine of your own story. How do you do? You, uh, do you make your own destiny? You create your own destiny. You go after your uh, your dreams. You have the courage to go after your dreams with the guidance of someone elder or with a wise and mature approach. And then finally, the, the last card is resolve. You have the, ter the, the 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 determination to take action to go after your dreams and to create your own destiny. So this is a major month for you, Taurus. This is a major month. Now, let's say that you are a man. Uh, it means that you have the determination to go after your dreams. And while you do, you might have the, the wise guidance of someone who's elder, a woman, an, an elderly woman who guides you. Or during that, during, uh, during this uh, moment where you exert, exert your courage, and you take action and you are determined to go after your dreams and to create your destiny, you meet someone. You meet this person. And this person is wise. Not necessarily uh, older. Uh, you meet a woman who might help you. Not necessarily. But this woman might be in your life, you know, romantically speaking. And th this is for those who are single. Now, if you are a woman and who, like, who likes women... And if you're single, the same thing applies. If you're not, it's like it's two meanings. One, you're the heroine of your own story. And the other meaning is that while you're going after your dreams, while you're having the courage to go after your dreams in November 2018, you're going to meet someone with whom you might very well have a romantic relationship with. Okay? So that's it, Taurus. This is the reading that I have for you for November 20, 2018, and I really hope that you have a great month. Bye-bye.